Hey guys, I'm back and I owe you a big, huge, ginormous apology. Um, I think my last video was May Favorites. Sorry. Um, it's been really busy here the past month with work and, you know, the whole marriage thing. And also in the last week, we've suffered a pretty major loss in our family. So it's just been very bizarre here in the household. So I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and get back in the habit of doing some more vlogging and videos and whatnot. So I thought I would start off with my June favorites. What the heck? I've got a mixture of beauty and fashion and some random stuff. So I think I'll just jump right in. The first thing or things is a kind of beauty-ish item. Um, there are two nail polishes. One is from Essie. This is DJ Play That Song. Wicked, wicked. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is the best nail polish in the entire universe. If I'm flashing you some boobage, I'm sorry. Uh, it's hot as balls here in California right now. We're sitting at 108 at this very moment. Uh, I digress. I am not a big, bright kind of person. I've always done the very kind of natural nude nails like this and just in the last few months for whatever reason um i've been so into bright colors on my nails and this is a total winner it is just balls. it's no sparkle there's no oh my gosh i have a cat hair in my eye Ugh, could this video just be any more crazy okay um i oh, don't it's still there uh-huh yeah yeah this is what you guys want to see. Um, it's just, it's not matte, but there's no sparkle to it. And I freaking love it. I've been alternating between this and my other polish fave for the month, which I will show you now. First of all, can we just, can we just talk about the bottle? Look at how cute that is. Let me put it up next to the Essie. Look how freaking cute that is. Um... This is Orly's Beach Cruiser. I was looking for this for several weeks and I couldn't find it anywhere. I was in Ulta and I thought, oh, I'll look for Beach Cruiser while I'm here. The Orly display was completely picked through. I couldn't find it. And then I kind of like turned the corner and I saw another Orly display with these teeny tiny little freaking bottles in it. And there was Beach Cruiser and I about pooped myself. I was so excited. So um, I think I saw this on like Pinterest or something and I went, oh, I gotta have that color. I'm actually glad they didn't have the big one because this is a great tester size and turns out I love it and I totally want the bigger one. But anyway, I digress again. Uh, <laughs> so I've been alternating between this and this for like the last three weeks. No joke. This is the first time I haven't had either of these colors on my nails. Um, both will look so cute on your toes. They're great petty colors. This one is the bomb.com. If you've got tan skin or dark skin, this is freaking awesome. Okay, moving on. The next beauty item, items. Um, if you're my age or older, 36, <coughs> um, you remember Wet n Wild being crap when we were in high school. Um, it was really chalky. The, the colors were sheer. You couldn't hardly get any color payoff from them. And for whatever reason, lately, someone at Wet n Wild went, we should step up our game. And they have in a huge way. And I think the, the standout products from Wet n Wild are their eyeshadows. 90% of them are major. Um, so I picked up two trios because um, I hadn't had any for myself. I've had them in my kit, for, you know, my makeup kit and all that stuff for clients. But I hadn't actually bought any for myself. So I bought the Walking on Eggshells trio which looks like this they're super amazing love these and I guess I'll swatch these for you what the heck do 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 booby booby boo booby boo boo all right so here's the swatches for this super awesome and they're just so, they're so creamy and pretty and buttery and they blend really nicely and they work really well with other eyeshadows, which I love. Um, the next palette uh, or trio is the Silent Treatment, which is really cute. You'll see a pattern here. It's 
all very neutral colors. I'll swatch these for you. Yeah, da -dum, da -da -dum. Dee -dee -dee. Booby booby boo. Boo 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 boo. Okay, so that's this one. So uh, I freaking love these. I freaking love these trios. So the goal now is I'd like to get some of the eight pan color icon shadows because these have definitely tempted me. Um, the next beauty item on the list is actually a brush. Um, I kind of rediscovered it in my collection. It's filthy and I apologize, but it's the Real Techniques Kabuki brush. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of got an angle. It's really dense. And then here's the badass thing. It's convertible. So it does this. What this is great for? Contouring. But what I like to use it for is kind of to blend out and buff any harsh lines. I also like to use it with my Mac Studio Fix. What I'll do is I'll just dip my brush in and then just where I want some extra coverage, I'll use this. And this brush is great for that. I completely wish that when I was working full time as a makeup artist, freelance makeup artist, that Real Techniques was around because I would have several sets of these in my kit. Um, I do now, I just don't work in makeup as much as I used to. So um, they're some of the best brushes, if not the best brushes, um, consumer, commercial, or otherwise out there on the market. So I love this brush. Last beauty-ish item is uh, uh, maybe is the best hand cream around. Um, so it's a big jar like this. Let me move my noggin. And it's glass, so it's kind of luxurious. And then this is what it looks like. And you can see it's really thick. If you don't like a thick hand cream, this is not for you. Um, I do. It, my face is like a freaking oil slick, but the rest of my body is like sandpaper if I don't moisturize properly. I discovered this. I've used Nivea my whole, most of my life, not all my life. That wouldn't make sense. Um, <laughs> and my friend Melissa, who was probably watching, um, used Nivea a lot too. And she's kind of one of the reasons why I got into Nivea because I would go to her house after school and I would use her hand cream and it just doesn't smell like anything. So it doesn't conflict with your perfume. It's just really nice. And it's kind of, it's just a clean scent. It really doesn't smell like anything. So I discovered the small tins of these at the kind of impulse buy area in Ulta. I call it the you need this section. You need this, buy it. Um, and I thought they're great. They're like little tiny tins, like lip balm tins that have this in it. And I thought that's great for my purse. I can just throw it in there, have some hand cream after I wash my hands or whatever. And then I thought I need to get a big one of these and just start refilling my tins and then started using it every day after every shower, every bath. Um, slathering this junk all over my body. So I highly recommend it. I really like it. But again, if you don't like the thicker formulas, this may not be for you kids. Sorry. Um, the next item is fashion related boobs. Sorry. Um, I have been kind of on the hunt for some black sandals for a while. I have a pair. They're so ratty. It's embarrassing. I have no business wearing them. They're all stretched out. They're just falling apart. Um, I wear so much black, it's not even funny. I'm like the Johnny Cash of YouTube, um, but, <laughs> but or of radio, whatever. Um, so I was at Target the other day looking in the couture section. That's the entire clothing section. Target couture is what I call it. Um, and I came across these, and I just went, oh. Um, it's this little sandal. They kind of remind me of the saltwater sandals. Do you remember those? Um, so this is what it looks like. Hide my face here. And it's up close. Look at the sparkle. Look how cute that is. And it's just super flat. And then it goes around your ankle like this. Isn't it cute? I love it. Super flexible. Um, the thing is, if you've got like really high arches, these will suck for you. Because they're extremely flat, as you can see. There's no arch support in that whatsoever. I have flat Flintstone feet, so these are fine for me. Um, I got these. I just burped. Sorry, I was trying to hide it, but I just couldn't. I just ate like a third of French bread with butter. Yeah. 
I feel guilty. Um, these were $16.99. Super score. I'm going to wear them a ton. I've, I've had them for about a week and I've worn them just about every day. So, and I love the little bottom it has like little flowers on it. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, not important. I love those. My last, and I'll link everything below you guys too. Um, the last item is kind of a random item. It is a food item, but I am obsessed with these. I'm kind of a carboholic. I love pasta. I love rice. I love bread. I just ate a third of it. I think I told you that. Um, so it's no surprise that I love these too. Um, I don't know if you've ever had these, but these are the Wassa crackers. <laughs> these are the multi-green ones. I am obsessed with these. They are so delicious. I, I've even made this, the like little bruschetta that's on the front. Um, I love that. I love it with like borscht and cheese or like the spread that you can put on. I like it with like turkey and cheese. I could eat these all day, every day. They're so good. I recently discovered that they're delicious in guacamole. Um, yeah, they're just really, really good. So I highly recommend these. They're not, I don't think they're horrible for you. A serving is one slice. Um, there's no fat and well actually and the carbs are only 11 grams so it's not bad for one cracker I have two usually um, but the thing about this is they're really filling so sometimes for lunch I'll just do this with like a little turkey maybe like some mushrooms or a little cheese or like that borsten cheese that I was talking about and some turkey and I'm full until dinner so they're pretty filling so I, I kind of highly recommend these if you like them. If you like kind of grainy, rustic type of stuff, these are so good. That's it, kittens. I'm done. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. I actually have a couple of videos that I'm going to film here consecutively. So I'll change my top so you don't have to see my boobies anymore. Until next time, bye.